Good morning, landlady. It's morning already. Nope. More like midnight. Coffee. Oh, the smell of coffee never gets old. Of course. Thank you. My pleasure. I see you've met my daughter. I don't count this as meeting her. Where is she? <sighs> With her mom. And where is her mom? We're separated. Why? What happened? I'm not sure that's your business. Oh. I think you should get ready for school. Huh? What? Are you done writing the script? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of a, a story for the short film we're supposed to do. Right. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Guys, I come bearing gifts. I don't understand. It's yeah. today your birthday. Okay. This is what you used to celebrate birthdays in your marriage. Oh, oh, oh. Is this your apology to Diana for yesterday? Biscuit and coke. Uh, not exactly, but it should suffice. Give me a drink, job. No, I don't know how to keep my list. A day. See if you know how to keep anything. Hey, baby. Uh oh, -uh, no, no. We're just playing yesterday. Come on. Guys. Move X. Soda is bad for you. It's a toilet cleaning agent. Imagine what it does to your digestive tract. Go. Digestive tract. It's not only digestive tract. It's Pastor Chris track. <laughs> Come on, then. Give me that mineral. Yeah. Wow. So, Harrison, you found my class into an entry now. Right? I'm going to have to increase your school fees to get cleaners to clean the mess you always make. Sir, you said cleaner, you want to go and employ? No, no, why are you going to collect cleaner from myself? I can do the work. Sir. I will clean, I will sweep, I will polish this full school. I will even use my shed. I, I don't even know the owner of the shed, sir. This is Sorry, sorry. Don't. Do you have your stories for your short film? Um, I'm working on. Okay. I understand. Getting new ideas to create stories from always difficult. But the most fun thing is for you to imagine what you would be interested in if you went to the cinemas. What would you like to watch? Yes, sir, but like, that's the question. How do you find a relevant premise? You know, how do you like ignite the spark of new creativity? But you're very average. Good artists copy. Great artists steal. So are you trying to say that we should steal other people's story? No, no, no. What I'm saying is every new idea you see around you is built on the foundation of an old one. Yeah, but I don't know if you know that what you're saying still sounds like you're stealing. <laughs> But I tell you this, um, okay, have you read the book, The Medici Effect? You should read it. It talks about how old ideas interact with themselves to create new ones. Make sure you read the book. So um, I suggested that we tell the story of a girl who was dumped by her boyfriend and then, you know, who rebounds. Boring. No romantic stories, please. I think it's right this time. So, relax. Let's take this your story, right? Imagine the love interest in this your story. Meets with a psychopath who wants to use her for rituals. Ah, uh, uh, that's that. 
where are we going to see psychopaths in Nigeria? So you don't think those people who take people for and use them for rituals are psychopaths? Yeah, like Unam <laughs> Diye. Looks like serial ritual killer. I don't know how you... Why do you mention my name for this matter for I get? Actually, I have an idea for a story. You do? Yes. So the, the title of the idea, sorry, the idea of... The title of the story will be Pant Bunny. Sorry, did you say Pant Money? Pant Money. Oh, Pata. Is this serious? The, the, forget the title, sir. The story. Now imagine a young man in Lagos, just in public transport, is going normal, and shouting inside the boat. Great bus stop, oh wow. Okay, no wow. Okay. Okay, your side. Okay, ma'am, this one. No verse. No verse. Stop oh, yeah, here, oh, wow. Uh, This is my clay boss. Come down, come down, I beg. Well, you take your money. Okay. And the money, big sum of money, just on slap. Ah, this guy dropped his bag. He dropped him. I don't know. Nabob. He dropped Nabob. Nabob. He dropped. Hey. He dropped. Well, now. And cut. Let me see this. See the rubbish that you guys are shot? You know what? You are directing the next scene. Yeah. Sir, so I finished work. Oh. Ah. Well, sir, I'm a method actor. I have to learn how to drive. Ah! Oh, I wow. finished work. They see that part, right? Eh? And they do like this. They do like what? Oh, Farms. Uh, Go yourself. But well, I don't finish work. You finish work. You learn keke. You learn keke. No. But wait, oh. Am I supposed to shout action? Am I supposed to count one, two, three, three before one, I say cut? Oh my god, I'm I'm Gosh, I hate this man. Action! You don't cut What's up again. now? Take 15. Oh, Daddy, you don't cut up again. This is the last one. Oh. I don't tire you. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You're good today, director. I'm sure Dr. Baimas was even surprised she could handle it so well. I did. I, I was surprised too. I mean, I, I had to be cleaning my eyes to keep it in focus. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. No, what is... <laughs> I wasn't trying to be funny. Right. I mean, I, I was so nervous. I, I was just trying not to sweat in all the wrong places. I, I felt like a he goat of steroids. <laughs> well, I think that if you could do so well under pressure, then you're indeed made to be a director. Well, I had a great script to work with. Oh, come on. You don't have to count to compliment me to make no. me feel good. No, seriously. You're... You're a good writer. You write very fluently. I liked working on your script. Yeah, well, I guess I like having you work on my scripts as well. So... <clears throat> Did um, Diana agree to take you in? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm going tonight, even. We were supposed to leave together, but she had to be somewhere. Oh, so. uh, OK. OK. Maybe one of these days I'll come check on you. Yeah, that would be nice. OK. I have to go. See you tomorrow, OK? OK, bye. Ah. Babe, your script is not the only thing I would like to work on.